Hi F2Peers, it's Goodfellow here from F2P.com and today we are checking out Endwar Online from Ubisoft. Uh, Endwar is, I won't say popular, uh, but it's kind of known in some circles. It is a franchise, it's Tom Clancy, it's Tom Clancy's Endwar. Um, I'd never heard of the kind of previous game, but obviously it's big enough for them to think, hey let's make an online version of it. Um, even though I think there was multiplayer um, content in the previous end well, but this is a different kind of game to what that was. This is uh, a real-time strategy that, in all honesty, it does kind of seem a bit MOBA-ish. Um, whether it's kind of on the the back of how popular MOBA has become, um, I'm not sure. But um, essentially you are lane-pushing like you would with a MOBA, only you don't have a hero. You essentially control the minions, I guess it would be. Um, and, well, you'll, you'll kind of see it in a moment. But uh, as far as um, this goes, the game has been in development for quite a while now. I originally playtested the game uh, at an Ubisoft press event two years ago in Paris. And um, it, honestly, it doesn't seem, gameplay-wise, that much different. So I don't know why it's taking so long. The game has only just gone into closed beta. And so... Hopefully it's going to be more of a stress and technical test and you know they'll be looking to release the game soon. It is a fun game. Um, what kind of longevity is going to be in there, I don't know, but there does seem to be quite a bit of customization. Anyway, that's enough chatting, that's enough um, kind of discussing what is, we're about to find out. So as you can see, I am now level 15, I've been playing for a couple of hours and I'm still pretty much in the tutorial mode. You can see that I've not unlocked all the places in my base yet. Um, some stuff like infantry zone, air intercept zone, these are all still kind of like low levels. I've not kind of been able to upgrade stuff. Um, the tutorial is essentially the single player campaign. So that's primarily what we're having to focus on, but I'll explain the other features in a moment. So constantly getting quests and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a battle and then we'll show some of the other features. Um, so this is there we go, so campaign Uralsk and actually I'll close this first so you can actually see the map. So this is where we're at in terms of this area. So we've nearly cleared out this particular region um, and we just need to finish off this one to hit level 15, I guess all 15 out of 21. Whether it is, that means there's only, tw I think it might mean there's only 21 levels in the campaign and once we've done that then we've unlocked all the single play stuff. It's all repeatable, but again, we'll show that. So, there we go. Um, that's what we're going to win if we win and get some resources, energy, fame and gold. So, when you jump in, you get to see um, the enemy that you're against. So, they have one, two, three, four, five commanders, although they've only got one commander picture. I don't know what the difference is, whether it is anything. Uh, and we've got six commanders, so that is the most that you can have. Essentially what the commanders do, they determine what units you take into battle. So, I could have picked an easier person. There you go, Maria Durova. Um, she has five tanks at her disposal. Um, I think if I click her, can we click on there? I might not be able to do it. I might have to do it in one of the other buildings. Um, so she has five tanks. You can see that she's got two skills now. She's got focus fire and paralyzation. Um, and at as she is at rank 14, that means her stats um, have been increased. The damage that her units do um, are increased. So, depending on what commanders you've unlocked, de determines the makeup of your team. As I see, we've got um, two um, uh, airstrike guys. So, our airstrike guy is Lavrenti Ismailov. And he's got three airstrikes. Now we could decide, oh, you know what, we don't really want any artillery, so we can get rid of him and put another dude in. What's that mean? This commander's level is at least four levels lower than the enemy commander's. Okay, so he's a noob, um, but he's got a different kind of airstrike. So he's got na napalm, whereas this guy's got a bomb run. Um, oh, he's got napalm and hobble. So he's pretty cool. Um, we need skill books to level him up, though. But for now, he's a little bit weak, so we're going to get rid of him. But that would give us more airstrikes. So if you want a tank-heavy build or a gunship heavy build, whatever you want, then that's pretty much how it works out. Um, I'm not sure whether you get, I think you might get more tanks as you level your heroes up. They might get more, well, more units under their command. 
anyway, again, enough talking, let's play. So, essentially we have to destroy the enemy base um, by placing units down in lane. It is a rock, paper, scissors type mentality where tanks will beat uh, anti-aircraft, anti-aircraft will beat gunships or helicopters and gunships will beat tanks. Um, so we've got these three lanes, we can choose where we want to put them, we can see who's coming down, so we've got an artillery guy coming down there, so a uh, machine gun guy, so we're going to throw him down there, we're going to throw an infantry on here, and get him to try and capture that node, and what else have we got, we've got an, uh, a rocket to do there, so we're going to send rocket down here, and then behind him, send our artillery, so we can hopefully take that, and we're going to airstrike round about here, so that we can hopefully get that before he does. And he's going to rush in there. So there you go. I clicked his button there. That spends a command point. So we've got command points here. That's what it shows. They keep replenishing. And when you get one command point, you can use um, your fire attack. Oh, this dude's going to be going in here. Let's, let's get this guy moving. So sorry, there's a lot happening. Uh, probably not the best level to try and explain what's going on. So I'll try and get some stuff down and then start explaining. Um, so our guys are probably going to get smashed there. I'm dropping an anti-aircraft down because we've got lots of choppers coming through. Actually, I'm going to throw more than one anti-aircraft down. What's going on over here? Lots going on. Okay, I need to send an infantry guy to try and take this. So if we take these energy nodes, then our guys... And um, we'll get bonuses and stuff like that. If we get our, anti uh, our artillery on there, then um, they get to shoot rockets and stuff and ranged attacks. And uh, hopefully we can uh, take this out before these guys get there. Uh, yeah, right. So that artillery got destroyed. Uh, let's get an uh, anti aircraft up here to take out this dude. Uh, let's get another one going. So what's going on down here? Okay, so our tanks are doing okay there. They will attack whatever's in range. So even if they're in a different range, wherever the the, la the lanes meet, and um, they can still get a benefit. So we're going to throw another artillery on here. So it's a good defensive position. Uh, let's take all these out. That's been attacked there. What's going on over here? Let's drop another airstrike on here, I think. So that'll take up quite a few people. Um, we really need a tank going down here. So, lots going on here at the moment. Um, I think we're doing. I think we're doing okay. Not doing too bad. Can take this out. Need a tank coming down here. And I think. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna take them out. I think we're gonna do okay. Let's try and get another airstrike in a minute. So we might be able to catch all these guys. We're gonna get sandwiched in two lanes. Hopefully. So there we go. We're gonna be able to get both of these guys. Um, let's get a chopper going down here. What's going on over here? We, well, we seem to be doing pretty well. Can that guy take that? So if we get him in there, gonna get some more bonuses. Um, have to be careful here because this chopper is gonna go in, which can take that tank, but the anti-aircraft is probably gonna wreck it. Unless he can take him out first. I'm pretty sure that the enemy hasn't got that many units left. You can see what units they have got, so we're not really in much jeopardy, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's get these guys running through. going to take these out, so I keep spending my command points, they keep replenishing. We've also got morale at the top, so if I kill units, then and they get morale. If I lose my own units, then I lose morale. Uh, but in general, pretty much dominating this now. Yeah, they're going to have no units left once this one's destroyed. Um, which will essentially just say terminate everybody because you, you know they've got no units left to destroy, and even turrets on the side they are also considered units. Um, there we go. Your opponent has no units left, which means I'm pretty much going to roll up and destroy them now. So we can either sit here and watch them destroy, or I can hit terminate. Let's watch them destroy. We're pretty close. Do -do -do. So there you go. Boom. So. We did destroy the enemy base within 4 minutes 30. Win while bringing an attack drone. Don't we have got attack drones, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, okay, getting lots of pop ups and things. There you go, some cool stuff. And occupy all artillery spots, which again we didn't do. So, as that was, there you go, so we've completed that. Let's pick up some energy. This gives us more energy. All good stuff. 
So as we're in the campaign mode, um, this is um, the, the story-driven element. It is kind of meh, whatever. It's just pop-ups. It's just guys telling you what's happening next in the story. Not particularly interesting. Um, you know, there's not really any cinematics or anything like that, which I think is a shame. I think they've kind of missed it and doing stuff like that, but you know, whatever. Um, so that was AI, and we'll do another game in a moment. Um, but because that was a quest, I can claim the reward now, and it gives me extra stuff. Um, collect 3,000 energy, which I've done, so I can get even more rewards, which is good. Keep getting XP, so my levels going up. Energy you spend, um, they go to upgrade unit zones, to upgrade commander skills, and black market. So we'll go back to our home base for now. I'll show you some of the buildings before we jump into another battle. Operation center lets you decide whether you want to do the campaign or multiplayer battles. Now, friend matches PvP against another player, obviously. Fortress mode is a little bit different. Um, basically, you're fighting against the AI, but the AI team is an actual player's team, but it's AI controlled. You don't play against a player. You are basically just attacking a player's team. Uh, and skirmish mode is actual PvP. But that unlocks at level 25. I'm only level 15, so I've not even got the chance to do that. Thankfully, I have kind of played it before, but um, for me, that's quite a high benchmark to kind of force on players, but whatever. So, military recruitment. So, here we go. You can see all the different commanders that I've got. I've currently got 1,270 fame. So, I can, you know, get some slightly better um, heroes now. Commanders, sorry. Uh, and this will determine, again, so this, this is a level 1 um, commander, but they have four airstrikes available to them. In comparison to, I think, my guy currently has three, uh, and this person already has two skills. So, again, it depends on the kind of composition that you want. Um, I want with your with your team. What does this guy do? Ah, okay, so we can repair vehicles. So we've got some engineers. That's pretty cool. Um, there you go. Super force field, hot pursuit. So lots of different skills and stuff like that. And you simply click them, hit the recruit button, and well, let's let's there we go. Let's recruit him. Super. There you go. So we've got repair and hide. This unit automatically hides inside a nearby mechanical unit, increasing evade rate. Be interesting to see how that works out. So, like I said, lots of different skills, um, lots of different commanders, not lots of different units, but the skills kind of change them into different types of units. Then you've also got with each um, hero, you can uh, sorry with each commander and their units, you can equip them with different uh, items. Um, so here we go. We've got an ATS-10 infrared sensor. So there you go. Plus 48 criticals, always a good thing to have. Why not? And so that's now equipped. And we've got we've got any defense systems, so we've not got anything at the moment. You can potentially craft stuff, but um, you need to unlock um, blueprints to actually make them. So again, the actual customization of your units varies um, and adds, you know, a, quite a unique quality. There's lots of different ways you can build. Um, your various teams up. Um, so that's the tech center for generally building stuff. Tank zone, this just increases um, there you go, DPS and hit points, so kind of increases overall stats for any tank commanders. Um, so let's get that up to uh, rank 7 it'll be, and that's going to take 1 minute 12. Or we can spend gold, which is our premium currency, to instantly finish it. There you go, and if we upgrade again, because I know that I've got uh, a quest to get my tanks to level 8. So I'll go claim the reward, and got some extra stuff there. Cool. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of how my stuff is at the moment. So you've got to keep everything leveled up, so you know, that's that's done pretty quickly. That'll take 5 seconds, so okay, it's worth, worth upgrading these and kind of keeping on top of it. And your energy is um, overall, you, you get it from completing missions, from uh, fighting against players, uh, but also um, if we go into the single player map mode again, you can see that if I go into here I can collect the different energy from the um, places that I own. 
Um, or you can just click this and get all the energy from the region. There you go. So you, you know, you're getting a constant um, source of uh, of energy for spending and upgrades. Um, military air exercise. So these are, I guess, mini tutorial modes, but we've kind of skipped over them um, because we've pretty much learned how to do everything while fighting. So it just explains combat chains. You know, tanks beat AAVs, AAVs beat gunships, gunships beat tanks. As we already said. Um, okay, so I'm also gonna check out. Well, let's get out of um, this mode. Let's check out the fortress mode. Might as well check it out. Oh, there we go. I've leveled up. Huzzah! I've got some badges and some fame and some gold. There you go. Oh. General, war is war and we must win by any means necessary. The president just gave us the approval to use unofficial ways to get more weapons. Equipment and resources. That means the black market is now a viable option for weapon acquisition. I was wondering how I'd get the blueprints. There we go. So you see, I'm still unlocking stuff as I go, and you know, I've been playing for a good couple of hours. And um, so there you go, black market, new features unlocked. Uh, well, we might as well check it out while uh, while you guys are here. There we go. So we've got black market, and there are a limited number of each available item for sale. New items will be available after shop refreshes. You can refresh the shop manually by using gold. So we can buy fame. Uh, we can buy reinforcements. This obtains additional units. WMD is uh, available only when your base is under attack and HP are lower than 50%. The WMD nukes all units on the battlefield and does damage over time to all surviving units. One use per battle. Crikey. I feel like I want to use that. Yeah, let's get it and we'll let um, let the AI try and dominate us a little bit. Uh, you've also got a cargo locator, which is like a weird quest thing that you can do. So you get to do a free one every day. Just does some scans and tries to find some stuff. There you go. So we've found. Oh, there you go. So we found a new commander, which is pretty cool. Um, you can spend energy to do it again, or you can get your free one to get you some cool and uh, um, kind of more. There you go. And um, so we've got a training book, and that's used for leveling up your commanders. So, um, if we go to the military academy. Let's go to one of the dudes we own. Um, hmm, can't actually remember where I go to upgrade um, Not operation center, tech center maybe. Uh, bu 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 bu. Okay, so I think this is going to be it. Um, who have we got? Mm, who who are we normally using? What's he got? Oh, so he's got quite a few. He's got like six. Oh, this is my okay. Well, let's use my engineer guy. So, uh, so there you go. We we've got ten uh, training books, uh, and these basically add XP to our characters. So we can pretty much get him pretty high level pretty easily. There you go. So we at level ten because we had lots of uh, books. And um, let's see what else we've got. And um, let's level her up as well. Um, so this gives experience points to this commander. So we've got one that'll give her 2,000 XP. This commander shouldn't be higher than the general level. Well, she is. Has he just capped me? Has I just spent 2,000 XP and it's kind of screwed me? If so, that sucks. That sucks that it would let me spend it. Um, but yeah, so I can also spend energy to upgrade. Uh, upgrade any skill. Okay. Let's max it. There we go. So it's going to cost 920 energy. There we go. And we'll upgrade this, max. So you can do this. You got to keep on top of it all. But anyway, let's get into another battle. So we're going to go operations. We're going to go multiplayer. We're going to check out the um, fortress mode. So if you go in defense, then you can choose which of your units you want to be in the battle, and then you hit set. So if anybody decides they want to attack you, then these are the units that they are going to face and the AI will control them. Or you can attack and you can choose who you want to try and fight. Um, so let's choose somebody around our level. So um, oh, we could go for this dude because he might actually start dominating us and then we can W and D him. Yeah, let's go for that. So again, this costs energy to uh, to challenge someone, which is fine. And you can spend gold to refresh your energy, stuff like that. And there's lots of pop-ups and oh, VIP status and you know, click this for daily logins, things like that, which kind of bug me a little bit. It's very kind of 
Asian MMO style, but whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna send a uh, tank down here because I want to try and uh, get this dude. Uh, don't know what's coming here, but I'm gonna imagine it is some form of. Uh, oh, I just killed my nukes already. Oh, we got, okay, yeah, so we've got infantry trying to go there. We're going to send our guys in to get it. What have we got up here? So we want to send these in. So I'm kind of more intrigued to see whether I can just uh, just take them out. Um, let's get a chopper going in. What got destroyed? What got destroyed there? Oh, no. Okay. This is not a good start for us. Oh, they're going in for it. It's like I lost all my units. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're doing good. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Or are we? Hard to tell. Um, there's lots going on here, lots going on. Okay, so I need these to go here. And... Oh, they're using a lot of uh, airstrikes on them. Okay. Because I don't know whether my airstrikes actually take out those units. That's, that's my issue at the moment. Uh, okay, so lots going on over here. Let's fight these dudes. Let's try and take this out. Okay, so we've got quite a few ground units coming here. So hopefully, hopefully I'm going to be able to just hit them with... Oh, it's going to take 12 seconds till that's recharged. Uh, I'm going to send this in. Oh, I'm getting absolutely dominated here now. It's pretty cool. Look, I'm hopefully... Actually, I don't know where my WND... Oh, my WND is there. Sweet, man. Okay, so if I let... I say let everybody die. But if I drop this down, and then I spend, let them start attacking me. So they're now attacking me. How do I use my WMD? I want to use my WMD. Let me use it. Let me use it. There we go. There we go. Is it going to use it? Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> That was sweet. That was sweet. That was a total. That was a total F you. Have some of that suckers. Okay. Oh god, we actually destroyed the thingy. The capture point. Brilliant. So that's kind of like an an I win button, I guess, in some ways. Oh, so we can see how many units they've got, but as you can see, until we get vision on them, we don't actually know what they've got. They have killed two beasts. That's kind of the uh, the issue that you face. Oh, man, these guys are getting wrecked. Pretty pretty powerful. Uh, this 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 dude. Let's just pile everything in there. Pile everything in there. I think we could have them, yeah. I think we could have them. Radiation one. I think it's, Oh, everything's just taking damage over time. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, man, their, their AIs. Look how quick their AIs take me out. Wow. Really got to wipe these dudes out. Go on, you go, go, go. Oh, good luck. It's going to be very close. Oh no, they've got a tank! Oh, they've still got one unit left. I'm so dead. I'm so gone. We have lost two squads. They have no beasts. We need evac. They have crushed us. They've crushed us. They have crushed us. Ah, well there you go. We did we did challenge somebody that was like four levels higher than us and probably has upgraded all their stuff. But there you go. So you get an idea of what um what the AI combat is. And like I said, because we're playing against um, sorry, not the yeah, PvP. Because we're playing against a player, we don't get to see what units they're sending down. So you have to decide, you know, are you going to try and play a little bit reserved and defensively? And if you do, you kind of miss the opportunity to get your infantry in uh, the, 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 the bunkers and your artillery um, on these spots. So if you're not aggressive, then you can quickly kind of lose the foothold. If you get these, then and you manage to kind of push beyond that line, then it gets a little bit easier. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that, that went interestingly. So, battle history, there you go, you can see yeah, who's won, who's lost, stuff like that. Leaderboard, 
all that good stuff. And you get, I don't know, Lego Fortress tokens for getting Fortress Battle Supply. Well, at least we got to check out the WMD, which is what I wanted to check out. Um, so that is essentially, uh, I think that's pretty much everything covered. That's that's the majority of uh, the um, the features. Obviously, I've not been, I've not unlocked all the different units yet. We've still got some air transport zone. Increase all air transport zone commanders and um, drop zones. So get drones and stuff like that. And I'm presuming they will unlock at some point. Oh oh, we can oh we can build it at any time. Okay, normally get quests and it tells you to do it. So. I think I just overlooked the fact that I can get these whenever I want them. Oh, there you go. Well, now I just feel foolish. But anyway, I've got I haven't got any commanders for these guys yet, but hey ho, so there you go. So that's that's our I think that's everything in our headquarters built up. So there you go. That's pretty much End War Online. Um like I said, it's it's a decent enough game. Um and there's obviously a pretty strong strategy element to it. Um I don't I don't know, I guess Kind of looking at the maps, it's quite easy to think, oh, you know, it's just, you know, it's either just two lanes or three lanes. But when you notice that some of the lanes actually go very close together and, you know, units can fight from one to the other, then it's, uh, you know, it kind of adds in a different bottleneck. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, there is a lot of strategy to it, so it's uh, pretty interesting. So anyway, there you go. Hope you liked the video. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you do. Um, you can you know, keep an eye on all these different reviews and stuff as and when we do them. Get a lot of alpha beta access. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at F2P.com uh, or you can check out our official website at F2P.com So thank you guys for watching. I have been Goodfellow. You have been you. This has been Endwar Online. And hopefully we will see you in the next video. Bye!